Alrighty guys, how's it going? I didn't show the port work on this one. Uh, this one come in a few days ago. Uh, I've got the port work on. It's got, uh, you know, I just put a film of oil around the cylinder so it's a little, a little harder to pull over than it probably will be after it starts up and runs for a bit. Uh, waiting for the muffler. Uh, it's drying, it's sitting out in the sun. With the muffler, right, it's all done on it. Port work's all done. Uh, to the gentleman, I don't know if he wants to be named or not, uh, to the gentleman that owns the saw, you are missing your hot weather, cold and winter divider. It's a white piece of plastic that goes in here, and you are missing uh, like a black filler filler piece. Uh, I can show you one of one of my my saws. So. Uh, Somebody's been into this uh, saw before. I don't know if it was the owner or not, but uh, the red caps are missing. Uh, I don't like. I like removing them, shaving the things off, and then putting them back in there. When you don't have them caps on there, it makes adjusting the getting the screwdriver on way harder than it needs to be. Uh, the cover bolts were put elsewhere. In here, the I put the cover bolts back where they're supposed to be. The the cover bolts will take. Uh, the reason I think they did that, the cover bolts will take a screwdriver along with the little tiny Allen, and I think they wanted the screwed cover bolts in there where if you had to take this off in the field with your your scrunch, you could. But uh, lift this off, and I'll show you that white piece I'm talking about. Hopefully it's sitting on your, well, it's 80. Can't show you with the AD or A2D. This is a 490. There's this piece right. It goes right here. It just looks like that. You're, you're missing it. Um, and you're missing this little black plastic plug that goes there. So if, if you're the one that took your cover off, look around on your bench for it. Because uh, uh, those were not in there. And uh, your screws were all in uh, different locations, but I hope to. Let's keep me waiting the day. I don't know if I'm going to get a get a test run on this. It's close. I just got to put the muffler on it and put fluids in it. And rough bench tune it in. So it's literally four my bolts and bar and chain. But uh, so this is a 2022 model. And Looks like she's seen a fair bit of sun. Uh, you can see that on the co the covers too. The difference in the difference in orange on the covers. Echoes fade real bad anyway. But uh, yep. So I did a single one inch exhaust on this. It's sitting out in the sun. Um, I want to play with my excavator a little bit. Uh, today too. Oh, uh, I pulled I pulled or had Joe pull this one in that uh, uh, 372 you got the dyno results. I uh, got mixed feelings on this blacked out one. Um, I know it suffers from heat saturation because it's kind of pushing the limits on it, but its first pull was 6.9 something, and uh, second pull was I think like 6.5, third pull was 6.4, and the last pull was 6.01, so I don't, don't know where she's really at. Um, 
It, uh, I know stickers is in the 6.5 range, and it's right there with stickers. And then uh, that high, high duration build 370Q that I had to build it not, not the way I wanted to, uh, put up about 8.6 horse. So it felt pretty good in the, in the wood. Um, I already have a buyer for that uh, 372, so I got to get the fuel dumped out of that. He's sending me a check next week so I'm gonna get the fuel dumped out of that and get it boxed up. I wanna get this one ran. I'm on the fence with this one. I'm thinking about tearing tearing back into this one and trying a different different top end. I got that slow build I'm slowly building the green one. And um I don't know I might use that one as a test platform. Try a couple different cylinders on it. And whatever cylinder ends up being the one I like the best might end up on the green one when I build that. But, uh, yeah. Did all the machine work. And this, all the numbers on this one, uh, it's 22 squish, 102 on the exhaust. Widen it just a scooch. It's 122 on the transfers. Well, 120, 122, I, I split them. A little bit, and it's uh, 78, 79, somewhere in there on the on the intake. Should be a real good runner. Should be a really good runner. Um, I didn't run the saw prior, so. But yep, hoping to have this one. This one done. Hopefully, we'll be able to get this shipped out later on next week. I got a tree job that I got to do this weekend. It's not much one, but uh, I don't know if they want that on camera or not. I got a, a oak tree, dead oak tree fell across their driveway and they're kind of secluded and they can't get out their back drive. And so, it's an older couple. So, uh, and he's legally blind, so he can't operate a chainsaw. So I'm going to go over there and uh, get that out of the way for him. I don't know if I'm going to take the wood home. Depends on how bad the tree is. If the tree is decent salvageable wood, might might bring the wood home. Uh, if it's not, it might just get cut and tossed on the side of each side of the roadway. Get it out of the way. But uh, yeah, so last couple of days I've been puttering on this one. And tinkering with the excavator, I did order a hydraulic thumb for a different brand, uh, Chinesium uh, backhoe. But I'm hoping, uh, according to the Intermanet, it's it, a lot of the there's a lot of different brands that should all inter interchange. I hope, um, if not between the mechanical thumb and the hydraulic cylinder and stuff that I bought, I should be able to make it work. I think having that hydraulic thumb would be great. But uh, I'm going to call this a video here. I've jibber jabbered on and off. So you guys take it easy and have a good one.